Greetings and salutations. I am your instructor, AJ Wood. This is an updated tutorial on how to create a default landing page for your business pages on Facebook. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I have the Facebook business page for my company, Media Cats. And if you're a first time visitor, you'll be greeted by this welcome tab. And this simply encourages you to like our page. I'm going to go ahead and log into Facebook and as the admin for this business page, I want you to see that I have a link that says edit the page. So this is just under the profile picture. I'll go ahead and click on this link. And this is the updated back end admin pages. So a lot of things have been moved around since my previous tutorial. I've had lots of questions and comments about where changes have been made and how to add things. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the applications category. So you'll click on applications and what you're looking for is FBML. Now, if you don't have the FBML application installed, you'll need to scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the link that says browse more applications and you'll simply add the FBML application. Once it's added, you need to configure your tab. So you'll go to the link that says go to application and it's here that you'll put in some sort of title. So I'm going to put in video demo and then you need to add some sort of HTML source code. So I can say this is a cool picture and then I could add in some HTML uh, uh, short code. So I want you to see on the screen, this is very important. In this dialog box, any HTML text, you can type directly in the box, but take a look at the sample code I've given you for the image. Now this doesn't really point anywhere, but it's worth noting that you need to have your images hosted on your server. So in this case, I have an image tag that points to your domain.com an images folder, and then simply your image.jpg. Once you have this, you have it all set up, you'll click on Save Changes. And once the changes are saved, if I go to the page, I can find the tab that says Video Demo. Now, if I click on this tab, I want you to say, uh, see, this says it's a cool picture. Notice I'm getting a question mark, and that's simply because that image on that website doesn't exist. Right? So once you plug in your domain and your image, you would see a picture there. All right. If you need to add extra tabs, you can go back to edit page, go to your applications. And in this case, if I want to add an additional tab, simply click on go to application. And here I have add another FBML box. So I'll click on this and it says you've added one. And I want you to realize there's no hyperlink here. So you have to go back to the edit category. Now there's really not an easy way to do this. Once again, I'm going to have to click on view the business page. Then I'll have to click on the link that says edit the page. So it's a little round robin, but here we go. I'll click on view the business page, then click on edit page. So now I have that, I have to go back to my applications and you can see now I have an additional FBML box, right? Now I'm just going to remove some extra boxes because the question that was really asked was how do you take an existing FBML box and turn it into your default landing page? So what you need to do is go to the category called manage permissions. So this is at the very top and you'll see default landing tab and I actually have my wall, my info tab, or the FBML boxes I created. So mine actually points to the welcome tab. All you have to do is hit save changes. And if I go back to the front of the site, you can see I have the welcome tab in place. And I have an additional tab called lessons that you can watch some videos. But anyone who's a new user will hit the welcome tab. So this is how to create a default landing page inside of Facebook. My name is AJ Wood. Appreciate you watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for additional video tips. See you soon.